How's it going, you guys? So in this video, I thought I would talk about the most powerful principle I've probably ever put into action in my life. This principle is the defining factor in between failure and success, and really, it is the fundamental basis in which a happy and fulfilling life is based upon. And so, essentially, what self-love or self-care or whatever you want to call it, what it all is, is it's all about understanding what you want. Understanding what you want, understanding how you like to live your life, and aligning your life with that. It's knowing your, it's, it's accepting and being aware of your thoughts, your words, your actions, and your desires, and then aligning all of those things with practical reality. So this is very hard for most people. It's very hard for most people to be happy in their lives because they're not chasing happiness. They're not chasing fulfillment. They're not chasing success. And by success, I just mean living up to your own standards and what you want to live up to. Most people are chasing comfort. They're chasing an easy job that's just enough to give them enough money to survive on, okay? Most people, they just settle for the lover or the partner, the best one that they think that they can get in that current moment. They're not really trying to get the best in it, all areas of their life, okay? A lot of people, they just tell themselves that it's okay to eat sugar. It's okay to eat unhealthy foods. It's okay to be fat. There's this big delusion of fat acceptance going on. And it's really sad because the majority of these people are not happy with who they are. And they're trying really hard to fool themselves into thinking that they are. And if you think that you can be 300 pounds and be honestly and truly deeply happy with yourself, you are delusional. It's not like, like it's, sci it's, it's psychologically invalid. It makes no sense. And uh, the thing is, it's very, very common for people to want to live in delusion. It's very common for people to want to, to fool themselves and to believing something they don't actually feel, okay? And this is very important for people to understand. Self-love relies entirely on understanding who you are, seeing yourself for the reality and not the mask you wear. You have to break the pseudo self. If you don't know what pseudo self is, look it up. Very important psychological concept of psychology. Um, so it's the self image that we want to be or that we believe we are. And it's not who we actually are, okay? You have, so who we actually are is a series of feelings, a series of thoughts and belief patterns in this current moment. And it's mostly governed by our habits, it's mostly governed by our influences throughout our life and the resources in which we allow ourselves to focus on. Everything that we read from day to day and that we watch and that we pay attention to and that we're exposed to influences our true self in some way and it influences our self-image. The key is seeing who you are beneath that self-image and working your best to make that true self somebody you're happy to be. And so, in order to be happy with who you really are, you have to align physical reality, like reality, like real, real life with your deepest desires, okay? And millions of dollars is usually not what you really want, okay? An amazing Ferrari is usually not what you really want. It's not what you want at a baseline, okay? If you already don't make a million dollars, chances are you don't really want a Ferrari, you don't want a million dollars. Chances are you just want to live comfortably at the very least. Okay, people oftentimes, they misunderstand this. Um, your basic desires in which you need to achieve to be happy, okay? 
So it's seeing these things and aligning yourself with it, okay? If you're in a relationship that you don't resonate with, that is anti-self-love, okay? You need to let that go. If you don't have, the, if you're not making the type of money that you need to make in order to live the lifestyle you want to live, okay, that's not self-love. Self-love is seeing what you want and then finding the method that you need to put into action in order to achieve the lifestyle you want. Most people, they know what they want, but they don't believe that they can achieve it. And that's a problem because number one, there's no difference between you and somebody who's actually living the lifestyle that they want. The only difference is that they have acquired the mindset, they've acquired the behavioral patterns, they've acquired the habits that were necessary to take them there. You can be yourself and have your own unique personality and still develop a plan and a strategy and put it into action and achieve the things that you want to achieve. Fulfillment and achievement in life is absolutely fundamental for living this way, for achieving true self-love. Okay. Self-love is the opposite of delusion. It's the opposite of self-acceptance, so to speak, okay? You don't want to be comfortable with yourself. You want to be happy with yourself. Now, you want to be able to feel comfortable within your own skin, regardless of the circumstance, but you have to be always striving to make your life what you want it, okay? The only thing that is stopping you is your limiting beliefs, your mindset, and your ability to execute. Okay? I have I've been best I've been great friends with people who have failed drastically and then very few people who have actually made it to this point or so they think. Okay? It's very easy to to delude yourself into thinking you're happy when you're really not. The, la the one thing you want to do to achieve self-love is to remove delusion, okay? You need to find all these places that, in your life that you're trying to hide from yourself. Like, like if, you, if you're like, oh, I, I think I love my boyfriend, but I don't really know. And then you're going to your friends for advice. Like, motherfucker, you should know how you feel. <laughs> you do know how you feel, but you just don't want to believe it. You don't want to take that step to execute and make your life better. Okay. If you have if you have an ideal for relation for the relationship you want, reach that ideal, okay? You can have a good-looking partner who has an amazing personality at the same time. I have friends who date just the the most the, the most disgusting people on the planet. Let's just say that. The, the I have friends that date people who just don't care about themselves. And their excuse is, well, it's the personality that counts, but yet they're always complaining about this, about their partner and their partner's personality. So they don't like their, person, their partner's personality. They're just fooling themselves. Don't make justifications. If, you, if you're fat and unhealthy, you need to accept the fact that you're fat and unhealthy. If it hurts you, if it hurts you to hear that, that's a sign that you're not happy with who you are. You cannot love something that you just don't feel love for. If you don't feel self-love for yourself, that's probably because you're not living in alignment with the type of life that you would need to actually feel love for, okay? The problem though is that a lot of people have unrealistic expectations. You don't need a million dollars, you don't need to look like a supermodel, but you need to be healthy. You need to be physically active to increase the endorphins and to relieve stress. You need to be financially stable. Don't let yourself succumb to delusions and justifications. Don't be one of those people. Wake up. Open your eyes. Be okay with the fact that you're not perfect. Self-love can only come when you realize that you're not perfect, you have a lot of flaws, and you can improve. And everyone else can too.